In Excel 2016, the forecast function was replaced with forecast.linear as part of the new forecasting functions. The syntax and usage of the two functions are the same, but the older forecast function will eventually be deprecated. It's still available for backward compatibility, but consider using the new forecast.linear function instead. The Excel forecast and forecast.linear functions predicts a value based on existing values using linear regression. The function can be used to predict numeric values like sales, inventory, expenses, measurements, etc. Both the functions have the same syntax. X, the data point for which you want to predict a value. Known Ys, the dependent array or range of data, Y values. Known Xs, the independent array or range of data, X values. In statistics, linear regression is an approach for modeling the relationship between a dependent variable y values and an independent variable x values. Forecast uses this approach to calculate a y value for a given x value based on existing x and y values. In other words, for a given value of x, forecast returns a predicted value based on the linear regression relationship between x values and y values. For example, predict the sales for the next 12 months based on the sales in the previous 12 months. The values in A2 to A13 dates are the known x values. The values in B2 to B13 sales are the known y values. Use this formula to predict the sales for the month in A14 using the forecast function. Where A14 is a new x value, the date, for which you wish to predict a future y value sales. Use absolute reference for A2 to A13 and B2 to B13 so that they don't change when the formula is copied down. Use relative reference for x. Copy the formula down to predict the future sales for next 11 months. Use this formula to predict the sales for the month in A14 using forecast.linear function. Pass the exact same arguments. Copy the formula down. The function returns the same results. Plot the results on a chart to see a clear visual representation of the predicted values. Use a 2D line chart. Select the data in the three columns, dates, sales, and forecast, including the headings. On the insert tab in the charts group, click on the insert line icon and choose the first chart type 2D line. X values are dates and Y values are sales. The plot shows that there is a linear growth. If the X value is non-numeric, the formula returns a pound value error. Pass a text value as x, both the functions returns pound value error. If the known x's and known y's ranges are of different lengths, the pound na error is returned. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.